Okay guys, uh, what I got here today is I've got the 1 to 50 megahertz frequency counter. Um, I've already populated the board with quite a few things because there's a, that's a lot of soldering. Um, I just did all the um, LED, um, the uh, LED to display, all the 10, 10 Ks, this, you know, a couple of other things. But anyways, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up and uh, we'll give it a go. Um, so this is just a, it's a cheap pick microcontroller um, and a few uh, seven segment LED digits. The main features of the counter are, are um, one to 50 megahertz, um, automatic range switching with uh, different gate times. Um, option, you know, it's optional. Well, very low component count too. There's not too many components on here. It's the uh, pick. This is a a pick uh, 16 Fox 628. So six, 16 F 628. Um. So let's get going. Um, we'll finish it up, and uh, I got a couple of crystals we'll try out, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's just finish up. I'll just go work right across the board. So let's finish up here. We got a 10K. Where are my 10Ks at? And while I'm sitting here working, you can enjoy the music if you can hear it. I don't even know who that is right now. All right, let's grab some Zener diodes here. Make sure you put them in the right way. everything in place. Again, guys, there's, there is a lot of soldering on this when you go to those uh, eight-segment uh, LEDs. Or the seven-segment, sorry. A lot of soldering. All right, let me clean that up. down here which is this one another diode hey. well, let me pop those in I don't like to populate too many things on the board and then try to solder it because it just, it just creates a mess. I try I try to make a, a you know the circle board as as clean looking as possible. It's easier to troubleshoot that way too. You're not looking at a soldering nightmare. Again, I, I've seen some of those Russian guys out there. I mean, they'll they'll put every single component on the board and flip it over and solder it. And then they turn it back over and you got you got diodes hanging out this way and this way and and it's just a freaking mess. 
All right, there's a switch here somewhere. Here's a switch. Sometimes why they, how these switches are all bent over like this. Ah. It's a 20 megahertz crystal. Pop that in there. That's the other problem with uh, populating the board with so much stuff on it. You can't get your soldering iron in there properly. You get a nice, a nice flow of solder with all those resistor ends and everything else sticking up in the air. This is the crystal seat. It's where you can test your crystals. I got some 40 megahertz crystals we're going to be trying out on here once I get it finished. I'm actually, this is a 9 volt clip. I'm actually going to pop that in over here because the uh, 9 volt, well, this is from 9 volts to, uh, I mean, 5 volts to 9 volts. This connector they give you is like a 1 millimeter uh, female. And it's like, where do you get one of those? So I'm going to just pop in a 9 volt clip. In fact, I'll pop in from the top. I can hold it in there.
Boy, my eyes are getting bad. power connector. K. Yep, that's a hundred. One hundred K right there. Put my blue goo on it. four here but I can't see where it goes oh there it is right there hiding behind this transistor I bent over 104 goes right in there solder I like to use the uh, the point one but now I'm using this Kasi and this is uh, point three so I take two of them and I twist them together so I have a big enough piece <laughs> All right, let me cut that out let me pop the microcontroller in that all in and I think I got the whole thing populated guys so let's power it up and see what happens 9 volt battery alright got one segment lit up there let's put a crystal on it and see what happens uh, let's see what this is Seven point three zero. Look at that. Seven point seven point three zero point three. So it's off just a bit. Let's try another one. There's this one. This one is seven point zero three five. Yep, right there, 7.035. I think you guys can see that all right. 0.2. All right, let's try another one. Uh, let's see what this one is. I think I got a 7. Point, 
This is a 7.023. Maybe it didn't seat in there right. Hmm, maybe that's a blown one. Let's see what else we got here. This is another 2-3. There we go, now it read it. 7.023.1. Let's try another one. Let's see what these are. I'm just going to grab one at random here. Ah. This one is 7.122. There you go. Seven point. I don't know if you guys can see that all right. Seven point one two two. So hey guys, this thing, um, cheap as it is, it works perfectly. Really nice little rig. Um, again, it's a one to fifty megahertz uh, frequency counter, and uh, you can get these on my my website. Right there, you can either get them at uh, G and G Electronics. I'm not sure if I got them on Pixie Kits or not, um, but I'll, le I'll leave a link down below. You can just click on it, and you can just purchase it right from my eBay site, too. Um, but anyways, guys, 1 to 50 megahertz frequency counter. Works perfect. Thanks.